Hi, I'm Azumea and welcome to this Makeup Masterclass series where today I'm going to show you how to recreate the Vogue Rihanna cover shot by Nick Knight. Rihanna's always very involved when it comes to creating her makeup looks and for this look she really loved the idea of creating a skinny pencil brow and these gorgeous colours had just come out in the Fenty collection so we really wanted to incorporate them with the look. So first you want to bleach your eyebrows. I've done a tutorial on this so you can check the link below to see how I did it. When you've done that you want to take a Pritt stick and especially if you have quite fine eyebrows a Pritt stick's definitely good enough to stick your eyebrows down. If you have thicker eyebrows I'd suggest using something like a Mastix, a water-based Mastix or even a Prosade just for that kind of like extra stickiness. <laughs> and I'm just gonna wipe that Pritt stick through her eyebrow and then take a really hard toothbrush and I'm just gonna brush them through like that to make sure that they're really, really flat to the face. And then I'm gonna go over one more time just to make sure they're super duper stuck down. And you can basically build up the Pritt stick which will kind of help to infill between the eyebrows and create more of a solid shape so that it just really blends nicely with your skin. When you've done that and they're dry, I like to take a pressed powder on the end of a sponge and just press it in to the brow like this to help stop any stickiness. And it's really good to use a powder that has quite a kind of like high density pigment. You can also use an eyeshadow if it's the same color as your skin, but that will help to make everything look really, really camouflaged. And then once you've done that, you can begin working with your concealers and foundation to prep your skin. So I'm gonna use the Burberry Matte Glow Foundation. I'm using number 60 here. And I'm gonna take that all over Maria's face and also right up into the eyebrow. When you're applying any makeup over the top of eyebrows that have been glued down, always make sure you press and never drag because Dragging can sometimes dislodge the hairs and make it kind of bumpy and you want to create that really flat finish. So the most challenging part of this look is creating that really perfectly thin eyebrow. I'm going to use a very, very thin eyebrow pencil. I'm just going to mark out in tiny little dots where I want that line to go so that I can follow it and get a much kind of more perfect line and won't be wobbling around. And you basically just want to start from the very top of the eyebrow in a corner and in a very straight line just take it over with a bit of an arc following the top of the brow. If you're doing this look on someone else what I like to do is kind of position my hand on their face and use the face as a kind of lever to create a really perfect arc like that. So you can leave it there or you can make that a little bit more defined. I'm going to go in one more time and I'm just going to, I'm going to leave the, the first point soft and I'm just going to make the center point a little bit more heavy so that I get that really nice soft tapered off effect. So I'm going to use a mixture of the Huda palette and also of our lovely Fenty products to create some really nice purple and pink harmonies in the eyeshadow area. I'm gonna begin by adding a little bit of this lovely Love Bite Purple just into the outer corner like this. And with a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend that out like that. And this look is all about really soft pinks and purples that kind of go with the lovely flowers that were in her hair for the cover. And then I'm going to take What a Brat, which is this very lovely, like, pinky, kind of shimmery colour, and I'm just going to go on to Maria's eyelids like this. And we're going to blend that all the way up from the centre right up into the brow bone like this. And shimmery products are really great to use when you're trying to conceal eyebrows because they have that kind of reflectiveness that if you do have any areas of, you know, uneven eyebrow hair, it'll just kind of camouflage it a bit and create the illusion that you've got a perfectly kind of flat brow. 
For the inner corner of the eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of Trophy Wife, which is really nice shimmery gold. Just pop your head out for me, darling. And I'll just pop that right in the inner corner like this. And I'm also going to take some just in the outer corner of the eye, up by the brow bone, so you get that really nice kind of shimmery brow bone effect. And then I'm going to take a little bit onto the cupid's bow and just the base of the lip so that when we do the lipstick, you'll just get that really beautiful kind of contoured shape of the lip. Next, I'm going to take an even skinnier brush and I'm going to take a really kind of pearlescent white colour look up, darling. And I'm just going to pop that right on the inner, inner, inner corner like that and carry it across under the eye to help just open the eye a little bit. And then I'm going to take that just below the brow bone, all the way across, just to add a little bit of extra highlight. Now using that same brush, I'm gonna go back under the eye with a mix of Love Bite and Spanked from that Huda palette. And I'm just gonna go into the outer corner and just blend it out a little bit with my finger. So then the last step for the eyeshadow is to create a little bit of darkness just on the outer corners of the eyes that act as a really good base for when you put your false lash on. So I'm just going to take a little bit of dark brown like that and just pop it right on the very outer corners. For this I'm just going to use a half lash. So I'm going to take one of these false lashes, cut it in half and use one on this side and then one half on the other side. So just take your lash, cut it in half I like to use a little bit of lash glue on the eyelid first and also on the false lash, just to make sure it's very, very well stuck down. I'll put a little bit of lash glue on the eyelid and then a little bit of lash glue on the lash. And then I'm just gonna stick that on. And now I'm gonna take some mascara and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of mascara on her natural lashes and also the false lashes and just on the lower lashes as well. So now for the lips, I'm gonna use a mix of a lipstick and a lip gloss, and I'm gonna start with this purple Fenty lip stick called Perpsicle, and I'm just gonna pop it in, making sure that I keep that little bit of lovely gold visible. And then I'm gonna take a really dark purpley lip pencil, and I'm just gonna line the lips, just kind of leaving that little middle bit there with the gold. Then I'm going to bring it up from the outer corners, like this. And then I'm just going to blend it into the lip colour with a little lip brush. And now I'm going to finish with a nice swipe of iridescent lip gloss. So I like to finish with skin last. I'm going to add some highlights and some contours and that's just going to bring the whole look together. When I contour, I like to create a really straight line. So I'll take a little bit of tissue from her ear down to the corner of her mouth. And with your contour powder colour, I'm just going to very gently swipe it down like that. And then that will create a really sharp line that you can then blend out afterwards. And I'm going to take a little bit of a mix of these two orangey pinky Fenty colours and I'm just going to punch that into her cheek, just above the contour. And I'm just going to finish the skin with some highlighter on all of the high points like the cheekbones, just the middle of the chin, a little bit on the jawline, just to really bring the whole thing together and give it that really extra special look. So to finish the look, I've asked the incredible Claire to come and arrange some flowers in Maria's hair, a little bit like the cover. So we got some flowers from the local florist and um, I've just basically been arranging them as I've gone along. I've took one at a time, started off from the side um, and built my way around and I've just been placing them where I feel like they fit. Um, and then I've just been pinning them in to create the finished look. So that was my Vogue Rihanna tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and drop some comments below if you want to see anything else. Thanks for watching.